What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, <laughs> it was a frustrating one because, uh, yeah, Zapdos was being a bit of a punk, and, uh, well, we don't have it on our team, and I'm pretty darn sure... Articuno is going to be the same way, so let's just get on with it. In this episode right here, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be capturing, or we're going to try and capture ourselves a second Snorlax, and then from there, we're going to go into the cycling road. So if you guys recall, there are two Snorlax in the Kanto region, one near the cycling road and one near the dreaded path of doom. I think it's route 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it really does not matter. There are a lot of routes, okay? So, now that we got Ultra Balls, we can actually try and capture this guy uh, by putting it to sleep or something like that. And, uh, well, yeah, let's go right ahead and just, let's go ahead and do this, okay? So let's play that Pokey Flute. Now, it really doesn't matter if you don't capture this guy or the other guy, you're going to get one. Just one, and I would suggest capturing uh, capturing a Snorlax with an Ultra Ball rather than with a Great Ball because it's it's really really frustrating. As you guys can see, here we have Snorlax. I believe one is a male and one is a female. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna body slam it, paralyze it. Just remember, it does have rest, which uh, it does it does heal up any kind of status problems right there. And we're gonna do another body slam right here again. And this. Yes, we'll actually, yeah, this will actually bring it down just a tad bit. So we're going to put smoke in the in the middle right here. That way, nobody gets hit. There we go, smoke. Except we're going to probably going to go to sleep right here. And I don't, yeah, I don't have an attack that will actually affect it. So we're going to throw some Ultra Balls right here. And yes, I spent a lot more money just to try and get more Ultra Balls because, trust me, guys... It is not going to get easier with these legendary Pokemon. And yes, Norlax trying to headbutt a well, <laughs> a ghost type Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and use an Ultra Ball right again. There we go. And yes, this Snorlax is not giving me anything except, well, well, it's putting me to sleep or something like that. I could play the Poke Flute right now. But yeah. And well, it's still it's still doing nothing. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little. And nope. Do it again. And there you go. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. We had caught ourselves a second Snorlax. And yes, we're gonna be naming him Tank. Well, Tank 2. Because, well, you know, it's the second tank and all that crud. Okay, so tank number two is now with us, and we are now able to go into the cycling road. Now, before we do any of that stuff, let's go right ahead and take a look up here. Talk to this guy. He's like, hey, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has completed a data of 40 species, I am supposed to give you a reward. The Poke the Professor Oak, or Professor Oak, has entrusted me with an amulet coin for you. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered all at least data of 40 Pokemon? Yes, I've caught myself 88 kinds of Pokemon. I've been doing some work, guys. I have been doing lots of work. And of course, an amulet coin is an item to be held by a Pokemon. If the Pokemon appears in a winning battle, you will earn more money. Well, it's kind of funny how that appeared that appeared to us because we spent a buttload of money on repels and on uh, Ultra Balls. So I am going to give this to Leonardo because, well, it's right there in front of us. And let's go ahead and use a full heal and wake up Smoke because Smoke needs to wake up. There we go. And, well, let's see. I think there are people here that you can trade Pokemon with. We're going to be writing okay. What about here? Um, uh, okay, girlfriend, whatever. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of binoculars. And there's the department store. And... Here we have a long path over the water away. Okay. All right. So, let's go right ahead and not use our bike right now. And once we enter this door, as you guys can see, we are automatically on our bike. So, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. As always, yes, we are going to be speeding up our battles because it's, it's, it, it's a must. It really is. Plus, we need to earn a lot more money us for this whole battle right here so here we are taking on Lau and he's coming with his Grimer I'm coming with Leonardo right here let's go ahead and speed it up surf attack wins 
And let's give everybody else some loving right here. We got smoke coming out, shadow punch, nightshade, nightshade again, and smoke grows to level 34. Yes, and we get some more money. Okay, so we're not gonna be millionaires, but we're still gonna get something right here. Anywho, so let's see. Koji wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Pokemon. So as we, as you know, as I'm battling right here, guys. Yes, I'm gonna shoot the breeze just a little bit with you guys right here. I've been, uh, yeah, like the success. I've been getting a little bit of success with, uh, you know, uploading every single day. It has been, it has always been a goal of mine to actually upload every single day for you guys. That way, you guys can, you know. Have a little bit of material here and there and all that crud. And I've already reached a point right here in YouTube, especially in my schedule, where I can actually try and uh, uh, upload every single day and uh, make sure that you guys get some content. Fun the funny thing is, too, it's all about scheduling, guys. It's all about, you know, using your time wisely and whatnot. And that's probably what I did right there, you know? I found some time and I'm taking advantage of it. I am taking Mondays off from work now. So that day is usually, that day is usually for like my little graphics business and for this. If I have any spare, if I have any spare kind of uh, episodes that I need to finish up, bam, they're getting done right here. And well, hopefully this actually works out going into the spring football season and then going into, you know, the next season of football. Cause yes, Straven always has to have football going on. And right now, break's over, and look at this, everybody's getting points, yes, Ruben has been defeated. Yeah, this is, this is usually the, the part right here where, you know, there's a, there's a lot of trainers, and, uh, yeah, we don't, we, we don't, we don't need to battle them all in, uh, real time right here, so, let's go ahead and speed this up, surf attack, and surf attack again, and just like that, we had defeated Cameron, alrighty. So just like that, we've earned a lot more money just because we've been using uh, we've been using Leonardo right there. And I believe you can actually find some pretty cool Pokemon right here too. And well, let's see. I don't want to get captured by this guy right now. I'm just trying to look to see if there's like you know any kind of uh, M-shaped uh, grass areas. That way we can get some more items. And well, let's go right ahead and take on all these uh, these bikers right here. If I can only move. I'm mighty proud of my bud, kiddo. Come on. Oh, great. He must be the big one. Yes, he's the big one. Okay, so here we are. Q-Ball Isaiah taking on, uh, getting the Machop right here. So let's go Surf Attack. And he's coming out with a Machamp. So let's go right ahead and use Fly. And just like that, we defeated Mr. Bod. Yes. Now, here's, a, here's another thing, too, guys, that I've uh, been thinking of going into this episode. So... We just got Zapdos, and I really love its type advantage. It's like it's typing. Chances are, I might, I might be using that Pokemon for my team. Uh, you know, going into what was it like? You know, a restriction-free kind of a team right here, because I've always wanted to use a legendary Pokemon. Last time I ever used a legendary was like in Pokemon Platinum when I was Draven XC711, and. You know, Zapdos will could fit the team right here, but I'm just kind of like, you know, you got you got plenty of choices. Like I got plenty of choices of Pokemon and all that stuff. I, again, I want to try them all. I really do. It's not just about capturing them all. It's about trying them all. Okay, so here we go. Another cue ball, and he's gonna be take, he's gonna be going with a a Mankey right here. So let's go right ahead, Surf Attack, and coming out with a Primeape. Let's go with Tornado, Tornado with a Fly. And just like that, we're, we're earning money in the quadruple digits right there. So, yeah, we're going to try them all, guys, and see which one would fit better. Now, if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. I am well, like, I am I'm well open to any of you guys' suggestions on what Pokemon should I be using for this round, this go around against the, uh, the Elite Four. When we go into the second go around, yes, I'm going to be... I'm trying. I'm going to try and use some of, some of the Pokemon from Johto and all that stuff, just to make it a little more diverse. And uh, that's where that's where you guys' uh, decision or you guys' opinion comes in. So if you guys have any of that the suggestions right there, comment down below. And here we have another guy. Let's go. 
again, and this guy's asking about his leveling up Pokemon. Chances are, it's probably a Machoke, and look at that, it is a Machoke. So let's use a Seismic Toss. Look at that, Seismic Toss again, and yes, we earned lots of monies. Okay. So that's one section down. I think there's another one right here, yep. Now you can press B right here just to stop yourself from going downhill, and this guy's like, BE A REBEL! Okay, be a goddamn rebel. We are, and here is Cory, and he's gonna be coming out with his primate right here. This place right here is a very good spot to actually train your psychic type Pokemon or psychic users. Shadow Punch, Shadow Punch again, and just like that we win. Okay, so let's go right ahead and beat this guy. I think you can fish right here too if you wanted to. All right, let's go. Bring it on. And here we have William, not King William or anything like that. And let's go with Budkiss, big booty Budkiss. There we go. And level 37. Let's go with Shocker right here. And there you go. Try it again. Shockwave again. Do it again. Shockwave again. And look at that, we have defeated him. And yes, we are satisfied with doing everything over again. Okay, so we have to go towards the other side right here because... There are more trainers, and yes, we kind of need to, yeah, we kind of need to take care of those guys. Anywho, yes, you guys, you guys' opinion does matter right here, so if you guys, again, want to come out with some good opinions and all that stuff for any kind of Pokemon member that I could be using, the ones that I just captured and all that stuff, just let me know, and uh, we'll see, we'll, 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 we'll see what kind of combinations actually work right here. So let's go ahead and move along right into this section. And I think we've already beaten this guy. I don't know. Nope. We're bikers. We rule the roads, man. Mmm. Do you really? Do you really? Okay, so here we have Billy wants to take on us. And he's going to be coming out with his muck. And let's go ahead. Surf attack again. And just like that, we have defeated Billy. Not from the Power Rangers or anything. And... Well, let's see. I think there might be one person right here. Let's see, where are you? They're all hidden somewhere. That that could be a shortcut. Now, I've never taken the time to actually read the, the, the signs right there. But they're very, very useful in giving advice and all that stuff. And here we have another guy. I need a little exercise. Okay, a little exercise will be done. Here we go, taking on Jamal, and he will be coming out with four Pokemon. Mega Kick for the win. Let's go with Shocker with his Shockwave. Machamp is coming out, let's go with Tornado. Tornado with Fly Attack, and Machamp with Smasher. Smasher, Body Slam. Body Slam again, and look at that. Jamal has been defeated, and yes, he's gotten a good workout right there. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. I think we've... I think we've defeated everybody, right? Nope, there's this guy right here. All right, bring it on. Nice bike! How's the handle? I kind of wish that they would give us a motorcycle instead. I really do. And here we have Jackson with an X coming out with a wheezing. All right, Leonardo. Bring it. Surf attack, does, that does it. Here comes a muck. Let's go with smoke. Smoke, shadow ball, or shadow punch. Nightshade. Shadow Punch, and just like that, we have defeated another Muck, and Jackson hasn't... Yeah, he's like, shoot! Now, I think... I don't think you can... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can use it. And look at that, you can actually battle him again. So, yeah, guys, you can actually battle these guys over and over again. This place is not considered a dungeon or anything like that, so just keep that in mind. And we're going to do this again. We're going to try and uh, beat these guys. So let's go right ahead and go ahead and take this guy <laughs> again. All right, let's go. And rock slide. Body slam. There we go. And let's go ahead and try and use big booty butt kiss. Flame wheel. It's burnt. Dig attack. And that's how you do it. Okay, so round two has been... Yes, we have accomplished it. And that guy's not happy. All righty. So let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. Ah, look at that. We are now in Route 18, and we are officially out of here. Now, I think there is a trainer right here that you can actually trade a Pokemon with. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm looking for a Pokemon named Golduck. He wants to trade it for Lickitung. 
Which is kind of weird because it's like, you know, Lickitung is such a pretty good Pokemon to actually have here. Based off its girth and, you know, bulk and all that stuff. Yes, I said girth. <laughs> but... I don't know why it would be rare here. I think you could. I think. I think it would be a good Pokemon to actually have on your, to on your on the Safari Zone and all that stuff. So what we're gonna be doing right here, guys, is we're gonna be switching out Pokemon. We're gonna be going down. We're gonna be uh, what was it called? Uh, switching up Pokemon for this next route right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and the next team that we're gonna be using for the for the uh, Seafoam Islands is going to be Smasher, Leonardo, and a nice array of Electric-type Pokémon that we actually captured, like Zapdos, Kit Thunder, Shocker, and Sma or Sparky. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at Zapdos right here. This Pokémon that we caught in the last episode is both Electric and Flying. This guy... Yes, it is a very strong Pokémon. And yes, I am thinking of using it. Does have the ability Pressure, which raises the foe's PP usage. And, as you guys can already tell, it does have some pretty good stats all around, and does have some pretty good moves such as Thunder Wave, Agility Detect, and uh, Drill Pack. What I'm going to do with this Pokemon is, if we run into a little bit of issues, this Pokemon is going to be the one that paralyzes Articuno. We're not going to be doing this whole episode, or the or whole Articuno thing in this episode, but in the next one, you guys will see what's going to happen, and well... Let's go right ahead and surf our way out of here. Let's go ahead and start using some Pokemon that, you know, we haven't used in quite some time. Yes, we're going to be speeding it up. Yes, got to use them all, not got to catch them all. And he's like, I look at the sea to forget all the bad things that happened. Well, it's about to happen right here. All right, so here we go. Speed of Torpedo Swimmer Tony wants to battle us, and we got a good old Sparky back. And he's going to be coming with a, sh with a uh, horsey. So let's go Shockwave, look at that, and yes. See, all in use it, all my Pokemon are using, uh, they're, 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 they're working, they're working like a, a nice cohesive team right here. And yes, we're going to be using Max Repel because yes, I do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. Hmm. Probably because in Generation, well, in this game right here, you don't really dive for any Pokemon. So there we go, Thunderbolt. And we're learning agility. I don't really need agility. Okay, so we're just going to continue on with Sparky right here since it's been a while since I've seen it. And, well, here we have Sea King. And just like that, Speedo Torpedo has been defeated. Okay, bring it on. Who's next? What's beyond the horizon? That's always been a good question right there. And, well, here we have Swimmer Douglas wanting to battle us. Coming with the horsey, and yes, I did capture myself a horsey off-screen, guys, because, well, we are going to evolve that Pokemon, and here's Kid Thunder with his Thunder Punch. Alrighty, Thunder Punch, look at this. It's a nice change, Thunder Punch. Alrighty, see that, guys? You see, I know things, and, uh, well, man, I'm really, <laughs> really having fun with using a, a wide variety of Pokemon. I really am, guys. Alrighty, here we go. Swimmer Matthew. Thunderbolt attack, and here comes a Poliwhirl, and let's go with Kid Thunder again, and just like that, we get some more points. Oh my god, don't make me use all these Pokemon, guys, because I am going to be defeating everybody. Oh my god, and well, we got a double battle, alrighty. Now, I do realize that when we get into the Sevi Islands for the first time, there will be, uh, we, we won't be able to... Be, well, we won't be able to have access towards our Pokemon in the PC because, well, there's a little mission that's going to be going on. I will modify my team to get, you know, to towards that little situation right there, guys. So don't worry, you know, not that dumb. We're gonna have the we're gonna have the right team when we go over there because yes, there is another legendary Pokemon right there waiting for us. And well, Sparky, man, you you're growing levels just like the old times right here. And no, we're not going to be using Zapdos just yet. And, well, here we go. Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. And level 36, Learning Screech. Let's get rid of Leer right here. And let's go ahead and use Shocker. Shockwave for the win. Tentacruel. Don't be cruel on me. And Staryu, how's it going? Look at that. 
easy victory for us. Okay, again, you can battle all these Pokemon trainers right here, guys, just to level up both your grass or, or electric type Pokemon. And, well, here we have Connie wanting to battle us, and she's got herself a Staryu, and I think I already captured myself a Staryu. Could be wrong. I don't know. There we go. Let's go with Sparky. Thunderbolt, and... Here comes another Star U, Thunderbolt, and just like that, we defeated Connie. Okay, let's go right ahead, and... Oh, I just love your ride! Can I have it for uh, if I win? Sure. Alrighty, let's go. Taking on another swimmer. Her name is Anya, and Anya, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do this to you, but... I'm gonna have to embarrass you just a little bit, and, well... Get Thunder, kicking some butt, taking some names... Growing some levels, look at that, Shockwave for the win, and just like that we have defeated Anya, she's not too happy. Okay, so let's move on right here, and I believe there's like two or three more trainers here, yeah, there's two right there. Let's go ahead and battle this guy, the water is shallow here, there are, there are many people swimming. Really? Are there? Let's go right ahead, take on Barry, and Thunder Punch misses. And here comes a Cloyster, so let's go with Sparky, and just like that, Cloyster has been defeated. I think Sparky will be at, like, level 40 before we even, like, use it ever again. Why are you riding on the Pokemon? Can't you swim? Yes, I can. I can swim. I actually can swim pretty well right there. So here we go, taking on Darren, and, well, Thunder Punch yet again. And grows to level 37. Let's go with Sparky. Thunderbolt. There we go, and let's go with Shocker right here, and Shockwave for the win, Shocker grows to level 39, let's continue on right here, Shockwave, and yes, you got torpedoed, what now? Okay, so let's see, there is one more trainer here, how's it going? Seafone is a quiet getaway, I'm vacationing here. Are you? Are you really? Okay, so here we go, taking on Shirley, and she's got herself three Pokemon. Thunder Punch for the win. Here comes uh, Sparky. Thunderbolt, level 35, and here comes another Horsey, so let's go with Shocker, Shockwave, for the win, and there you go, guys. Easy victory. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, and right here we finally have reached the Seafoam Islands, and believe it or not, we still got one more battle, or two. Yeah, we're not going to finish this episode until we've defeated both these guys. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Leonardo right here. Because we get more monies. Strong trainers here and water Pokemon are common sights in these parts. They say that Misty of the Cerulean James train is here. And the funny is that, you know, the Poke, Poke Gossip Machine actually gets that. So that's another, that's another uh, little tidbit right there that you'll know about good old Misty. And, well... I love flowing with the fishies here among the waves. Okay. Bring it. So here is our last opponent, Tiffany, and she is coming out with her Sea King. And here we go with Leonardo. So let's go right ahead and go with a Mega Kick. That misses. Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss again. Seismic Toss one more time. Oh no. There we go. And we have defeated her. And Leonardo grows to level 45. Oh yes. We are using the most, yes. The VR, VR Seeker is pretty good. It's actually, you know, it is a miracle. So, we have reached the Seafoam Islands, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going through the whole thing, especially trying to capture a specific Pokemon in this place. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for watching, for liking, and all that stuff. I will be back tomorrow for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red. See you guys.